I'm Lieutenant Commander Nancy Ash, and I work at the Aircraft Operations Center, and I either work as a program manager or a flight meteorologist on the P-3 aircraft behind us. So we use this aircraft for hurricane research and reconnaissance, which is tasking us to go and collect data about hurricanes or tropical storms, and send the information back to the National Hurricane Center, and they plug that directly into the forecast. They go out on TV and alert people when they need to evacuate and prepare for storms. Uh, this aircraft was built in 1975, so it's a bit old, but it's still the best aircraft to do the job that we do, and it's taken care of very well, a lot of maintenance, so it's in good shape. Uh, the first storm that it flew was Bonnie in 1976, and you'll see on the side of the aircraft there's a sticker for every storm that we've flown and every country that we've flown in. Uh, we usually have a crew of about 12 and six or so scientists come with us and media personnel. So during a storm flight, we have 16 to 18 people on board. Uh, the flights are about eight hours long, so they're quite long. And we either base from our home at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida, or we'll be deployed to an area close to the storm. Um, Barbados is a common site, or Puerto Rico, wherever we can get the best data from, we'll base from for the duration of the storm. My position in the plane is one of two functions. I'm training as a flight meteorologist. And as the flight meteorologist, we monitor the radar. There's three radars on the plane, one on the nose, one on the belly, and one in the tail. And that gives us a real 3D vision, 360 degree picture of what the storm is doing and where we need to fly in the storm. Uh, we also monitor and check the messages that come out from the drop songs. So those are weather data messages. We look at those, make any corrections on them, and send them out via satellite to the National Hurricane Center real time. So they're looking at our data as we're still flying. Um, we also coordinate the science with the pilots and the navigator and get the plane where it needs to go to get the data that they need. And as a program manager, we pretty much manage the project and get everybody where they need to be and get the data that we need. I'm very fortunate to have this career. It's been a great journey. I've always been interested in math and science as a child. I started out in oceanography and then transitioned into this profession, which is oceanography and meteorology. So it's an exciting job, um, a lot of great people, a lot of very smart people, and it's an application of a lot of things I learned in school, and I you know, wasn't sure at the time why I was learning them, and now I see the value of it, that it really goes to people on the ground. It threatens their life and their property, and the information that we collect helps keep them safe. I'm Lieutenant Commander Nancy Ash from the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center, and you're watching the McAllen Cable Network.